Hey everyone, got a Bible review for you guys today. This is uh, the New King James Single Column Reference Bible from Thomas Nelson. Uh, this is the newest edition, um, part of their uh, premier collection that they've just uh, put out uh, in the black premium goat skin. It's a really, really nice Bible. Uh, some of the nicest uh, productions from uh, Thomas Nelson I've seen. So uh, really, really excited to do this review. So let's uh, let's kind of get started. Uh, first, the, the Bible comes in this uh, two-piece box. And that's box, very similar to the Crossway boxes. Uh, really strong, really, really strong boxes, uh, heirloom quality. Uh, you can see all these features. I'm going to talk about all these things uh, over the next couple minutes. So uh, anyway, uh, let's check it out. So first thing with the uh, with the Bible, uh, it's got this nice cover. You have the, the stamping. These uh, those ribs on the spine are just stamped ribs. Uh, it still looks really nice. I prefer raised ribs, but uh, I know a lot of people prefer the stamp ribs, which uh, that's fine. Uh, you can see Holy Bible, New King James Version, and Thomas Nelson. Uh, the cover is this uh, full grain uh, black goat skin. Really nice. I kind of wanted to show you a comparison uh, with a couple of Bibles. These are both produced uh, by Youngblood. Now, now, this Bible was printed and bound in China. Although it was it was printed on European uh, 36 GSM European paper, uh, it was bound and and printed in China. Uh, so this goat skin is uh, is like a Chinese goat skin. Um, I'm assuming. So uh, it has a softer texture. Uh, it's really really soft. Where th these are from uh, Young Blood, uh, it has a more grainy texture. This is the heirloom thin line. And this is the 80th anniversary Omega. Uh, both have a similar construction with the perimeter stitching. Uh, the black is a little darker on the young blood. Uh, just the way they uh, tan the hide. Um, but it is a much grainier uh, goat skin uh, on the young blood. So just so you're aware when you're looking at these Bibles, uh, you, you might likely have a um, a Bible bound by Young Blood. They, the goat skin they use is a little grainier, has a little more texture to the uh, to the leather. So you can see the uh, perimeter stitching going around the uh, the cover. It has a, a small yap, not much of a yap, has a little bit of a yap, like a, a little tiny semi yap there. But this Bible is. An inch and three quarter thick, so it makes the yap look even smaller. It's about a nine by six in size. Um, three ribbons. Now I want to talk about these ribbons really quickly. Uh, they're advertised as satin ribbons, which they are satin, but they're only single sided satin. Uh, you can see this side is is not a satin, where the other side is satin. Not sure why they used a single side. And I know that the single side might be a little cheaper, but but goodness, uh, I would love to have seen the double side. You see, this side is is not satin, or this side is. It's a it's a more shine. The satin side is a more shiny, uh, glimmery uh, side, where the the other is going to be a dull side. So anyway, that was one of the uh, of just the things I wanted to point out. Um, all right, so let's open her up. You got the uh, this calfskin liner. Now you can see this calfskin is not perfect. On most of these that I've gotten, you can see some little either imperfections in the leather or just just markings. Uh, that does not bother me. I think it just adds to the character of the Bible. But it's just something to notice. Uh, there's a, there's a few editions that have stuff like this. Some some kind of uh, some kind of marking on the grain. At least you know it's it's uh, it's real leather, and uh, you know it has those markings. Uh, some do, some don't. Uh, mine do, uh, but like I said, that doesn't really bother me. You can see goatskin leather cover. 
uh, stamped on the inside of the cover along with this thicker. It's a it's a nice thick uh, gilt line. I've seen some thinner than this. Uh, this is nicely done, well done. Uh, edge lined. You have uh, you know your your standard uh, pre presentation page and your first title page and second title page with Thomas Nelson at the bottom. Um, we'll go to the publication page. Now you can see the title there, the single column reference Bible uh, from Harper Collins Publishing, and uh, this is the '82 New King James. Um, you can see they're printed in China, 2018, right there. That's the publication uh, date as well. Uh, this is a, a newer publication. It's what they're putting out. So uh, you got your contents and your preface to the New King James Version. I always recommend you, you check out the preface. Uh, it help you uh, understand the translation better. You're, all right, so now we're in the Old Testament at the text, you can see the single column layout. Really, really nicely done. Really readable. I'll pull out this. Uh, the uh, let me get on in to the uh, text and I'll lay it flat. All right. So um, it says it's a ten and a half point font, um, and it looks really nice. This is a, like I said, thirty six GSM uh, paper. Uh, this is their 2K Denmark uh, comfort print font. Some people love it. Some people don't love it. Um, it says it's a 10.5 point font. Uh, this Omega is a 10 font. So just you can kind of compare. It looks about uh, a 10 to a 10.5. Uh, so I'll give them what they're advertising as 10.5. It's hard to tell a half a point. Um, but that's a 10 over here and this says 10 and a half it look about the same to me so uh, it might be a 10 and a half so um you have your um uh, let's get to the start of joshua here you've got a um uh, your book title in red you have your section headings in red the first chapter number in red uh you have your uh, references the number in red um, I really wish they had done the uh, the verse numbers in red. That would have been so awesome on a single column. That's the that's the biggest challenge I have on a single column uh, would be verse uh, numbers in red. Um, instead, they have the reference the references in red and the notations in red. So um, I kind of would have traded. I'd rather had the the uh, I'd rather have it the other way around. I'd rather have the uh, the verses in red and the references in, in black or bold or whatever. So uh, anyway, uh, single column, uh, 10 and a half font, uh, references in the, in the uh, they kind of collect in the bottom right, as you can see. They're not like the clarion where they, they line up directly across from the verse. Um, I'm fine with this. I'm used to reading in Omega where they collect all the references in the bottom right or the bottom uh, the bottom corner of the page. Uh, so I'm, I'm kind of used to this already, so it doesn't really bother me. Um, just really, really nicely done. I, I'm, I'm thrilled with this single column reference Bible. You can see the, uh, the art gilding. It's fairly light. It's, it's not really, it's not really a loud color. So, it's a, it's a red under gold uh, art gilding, uh, but the, the red is really, really subtle, um, but it's there. So uh, it, it's it's subtle, but it's there. So like I said, you're, you have your three ribbons. Uh, the binding is nicely done. You have black head and tail bands. Uh, you can see the separation there, uh, allowing it to lay flat. Uh, I'm just really impressed with this. Really impressed with the uh, the single column reference Bible. So we'll get to the uh, New Testament, and I'll show you that it's a it's a black letter text, which is really cool. I love a black letter text. I think it 
in, in these editions where you have these red highlights uh, for the section headings, red for the verses or the chapters, red in the corner. I think it, it needed to be a black letter text just to avoid the confusion and distraction. So, uh, but it's easy to read, really nicely done. And, uh, and I like it, like it, like it, like it. Let me get back here to the concordance. I like the concordance. Um, it's, it's nice. It's not grand, but it's, it's useful. Um, it's not small. It's not huge. It's just, it is what it is. You have the, uh, sorry. Let's see, we're already there. Then you come to your maps. I'm sorry, you have a, a one year Bible reading plan. It's a, uh, it's an everyday plan. Um, so some people like the five on, two off reading plan. This is a uh, every day of the week. You have a morning and an evening reading. Some days you don't have any morning, or I'm sorry, you do have morning and uh, evening. So uh, anyway, that's where you're at. So I, I, I don't I don't find this reading plan to be as as helpful to me because it's hard for me to stick to. So and here's your maps, just a few maps, not a lot. Uh, they're on uh, glossy cardstock. I know some folks like that. I do not like that, but. Uh, yeah, that's what it is. Um, decent maps, nice color. I just prefer them to be on a thicker Bible paper or even this 36 GSM Bible paper. It might it might stand to be a little thicker, even a card stock that's not glossy. Uh, it's just my take on it. Here's your ISBN for this edition. Again, you can see the edge lining on the back. And the gilt line going around the perimeter with this perimeter stitching. Uh, the back of the cover. Uh, it's just nice and soft. This goat skin that they used is uh, it's really nice. I, I like it. Um, I'm not super particular about it being a perfect grain. It has a, a really unique character uh, in its own right. It feels good in the hand. So I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, these Bibles uh, retail for 160 on uh, right now on Christian Book, they're retailing for one sixty, and they're on sale for ninety five dollars right now, which I think is a steal. Considering um, just the example I had out prior, uh, this Bible right here is the Omega. It retails for a lot more, and uh, it's on sale for a lot more. So you're talking uh, very similar in product. Um, the Omega might be a step above with regards to the cover while, uh, really the interior of this edition with the 36 GSM paper, um, it's really, really nice. It's a, it's a steal at $95. So I definitely recommend you guys checking that out and, uh, and, and getting one. Uh, they are, they're really great. It's a really great option if you're a New King James fan and you don't really want to uh, pay uh, for an Allen or a uh, Schuyler, uh, this is uh, this is a legit premium Bible, absolutely. So um, definitely for for a Bible this nice at ninety five dollars is really a great deal. So anyhow, uh, that is the review. I'm going to put this back on here and. And uh, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you to Thomas Nelson and uh, Harper Collins Publishing for supplying the review copy. Please consider uh, subscribing to the channel. Got a lot of reviews coming of uh, newer editions, and and uh, I always do uh, reviews of other Bibles and tutorials and rebinds and all kind of stuff. So uh, just consider subscribing and and uh, clicking that bell for notifications. So. You can get notified whenever I upload new videos. Uh, so uh, thanks for watching. God bless.